good evening and welcome back to another Talking Technical. And of course, um, markets, we warned about it a long time ago. And suddenly the market in America is starting to look a little bit shaken. And even the local market is looking a little bit if, if some profit thing wants to take place. And I've just explained to somebody today and I said, you must always remember, if the tide goes out, it doesn't matter if your company is doing well, if the directors are good guys, if the company is printing money. If the tide goes out, usually your share also goes a little bit lower. So be careful. And tonight I want to focus on a few shares that will maybe give you guys a hint of what is going on in the markets. And we've got some nice requests. And the first one, of course, is with CISWE. With CISWE Platinum is a request from mine. Now, uh, mine, if I look at this chart here, and thank you for everybody that's dropping us emails nowadays. Um, use the email france at francedeclare.com for your requests. Um, it's always handy if I can have them there. WhatsApp is sometimes a little bit difficult, um, but you can tweet as well. Okay, let's have a look. With Cisweb Platinum, I mean, look at this beautiful lampel formation. Nothing wrong with that. It just tells you that the share rocketed from 52 cents all the way to 155 in a matter of three weeks but what i see now is look at it it's building a sort of a consolidation now when i looked at the share earlier on i thought by myself okay maybe we can see another leg up but with all these commodity shares there's always a few things to keep in mind usually um, when they start to give these almost consolidation patterns right at the top and they cannot break through certain levels then you must know that the informed investors are sometimes a little bit nervous and they first want to see if the share can break a, a certain line before they get back into it. Now, first of all, the big resistance is that level of 167. Let's just show you. And remember, this is a weekly chart. Um, a lot of investors accumulated these shares over quite a, a time and I'm just a little bit nervous. So it must get above this level of 168. If it gets above 168, yes, of course, we can go a little bit higher. I want to give you a projection there. Um, I don't think it's time to buy them because I see the RAND is also starting to pull back a little bit. In actual fact, it's strengthening a little bit. It can maybe go to 180 if it breaks at 168. But for me, I'm looking at this. And remember, this is a classic, beautiful example of a rising wedge. Now, a rising wedge is usually a formation that triggers some profit taking. Now, when profit taking takes place with a, uh, either a lampel formation or usually with a rising wedge, it's a, a rapid move. It moves quickly and sometimes you miss it. So the big one here is on a Friday. Be careful if it drops below 153 because the target of this formation can easily be, and I just want to show you there's the target of it. It's the width there. I just want to draw it in for you and then you can immediately see what I see here. It can maybe take the share all the way back this low and that low is sitting at one rand and six cents. Mohammed is asking about Vodacom. Now, Mohammed, if I look at this share, I mean, this was one of the stern performances. I've got a friend that bought 20 in, year in 20, and he made a lot of money. I think he's still making a lot of money because I don't think he sold it out. If I look at Vodacom here, Remember, this is your 40-week moving average. This is a weekly chart, of course, and let's see what we see. Momentum, of course, is still clearly to the upside. Beautiful chart, nothing wrong with that, but if I do this, and you will immediately see it's working on a big rising wedge. This takes time. It can take a little bit of time to play out. But what I do see, and that makes me worry, is the moment I draw this little neckline in, you will immediately see what I'm talking about. Now, Mohammed, this head and shoulder formation, and I've seen it many a time. If a share goes on in a beautiful trend or go down in a trend to the downside, yes, of course, that is an indication where the trend is going. But suddenly, if you do get a tiny formation like this, there's the left shoulder, there you are, there's the head, and we're busy on the right shoulder. That needs to uh, catch your attention. And of course, where's my targets? My target, I'm, if that neckline, I'll give you the neckline now. If that neckline breaks, where can it take the share to? And you will see 
it can easily take it down beautifully to this line. There you are, spot on. This is almost a technical analysis 101 chart. If it works out, it works out 100%. Now, where's the neckline? The neckline sits at that level. There you are. The neckline sits at 148.77. And for me to get comfortable again, the share needs to consolidate above 150.23. But if it breaks below that neckline, it can easily go all the way down to that level, and that's 157.43. So clearly, this is a warning formation. This tells you not to just go in and buy the share. And if you do have the share, maybe time to consider locking profit. And as I usually say to my clients, if they phone in and they're nervous about the share and they're happy, one guy phoned in, phoned in the other day and he said, on Anglo Gold, he made 50%. And I said to him, well, if you're happy with the profit, you can either lock in the whole lot or just lock out maybe 30% and then see where it goes. Maybe you, you'll be surprised. It will give you a better price. You can either sell in phases, but some of my friends, they say, if you're happy with the profit, just lock it in. And you go. Veronica is asking about the NASDAQ, and I'm so happy because this is the one index that I was worried about, and I warned many a times about it. And I know everybody just said, France, but this thing goes up. You can just buy the technology shares. It's a, it's a new world, and I see nowadays they're talking about the new world order. And um, everybody just said to me, you can just buy this. Nothing can go wrong. And every time that there's maybe a little bit of a blip in the, in the market and the NASDAQ comes down, you can just come in and buy. Now, I would like to show you something. This is, of course, a weekly chart. Now, this weekly chart, of course, first of all, right at the top, showed us like a triple. There was a top. That one was a little bit high, but that double top there. I just want to show you there. That was a classic double top. Now, this little double top came into play below that level. I just want to give you that level. That double top into play below 15708. Now always remember when an index or a share and or any instrument just goes on going up, going up, going up, you sometimes see that investors they just ignore these things, even on weekly charts. And this was a weekly chart where there was a tiny double top and everybody was just ignoring it. But what happened? Double top came into play. It went down, it tested its 40-week moving average, it turned the 40-week moving average into a resistance, and then it goes down, and this is the warning. The warning here is it recovered. What happened? Can you see this 40-week moving average right there? was almost tested, but the index failed to get above that. And that is, for me, a typical negative goodbye kiss. That, in essence, is negative. So for me, a technical goodbye kiss means that there were some investors that said, let this index sell it off, let it bounce, let me see if it can break above this 40-week moving average. And if it does not, it's maybe time for us to also sell. And that's exactly what happened. Now, if I look at this index, and I know everybody will say, but Franz, look what happened in the past. Now, let's have a look what happened in the past. Every time that the index broke, it came back. Look at that. There's a beautiful Equal negative goodbye keys, it came back a little bit and then suddenly it just took off. Now, it is exactly like it can happen. It can also come back and it can bounce. And a lot of investors will say, But Franz, I'm investing in this since 2016, 2010, and I'm making loads of money. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. In actual fact, I know some, some investors that actually buys every month a little bit of the NASDAQ, and they believe it can just go up. Now, and a friend of mine the other day actually said to me, Franz, but if you look at the long-term chart, it always goes up. Now, that's also true. What I want to show you is if this index cannot break this 40-week moving average, that is 14961, then maybe it's time to stop accumulating. And the reason why I'm saying that Always keep in mind that we're sitting on the longest bull market in history. The sell-off in 2022 was not a bear market. That was a correction. and The Fed came in and they rescued it because it was almost three weeks long. A bear market carries on for nine months, 18 months. It's a long uh, affair. So I'm just a little bit nervous. So for me, no accumulation on the NASDAQ until 
that 40 week moving average can turn into a support. Sally is asking about the gold cross. This is of course a weekly chart. Look at this beautiful rally. I mean, there was oh that long time ago there was a beautiful inverse head and shoulder. Let's just take that off the chart. But what do we see now? We see that the share, oh sorry, the price is a little bit uncertain. And although we, we've got a little bit limited on time here, yeah, let's just show you what I see. I see a symmetrical triangle. There you are. There's the symmetrical triangle. And for me, it's quite simple. Gold needs to, first of all, stay above the 40-week moving average. You see nowadays, I'm looking at this 40-week moving average because I'm a little bit nervous on the markets because we're heading into an interest rate cycle that can go up. Now, this 40-week moving average of gold is sitting at 1843. If it breaks below 1843, I'll be nervous. And where's the support line? This support line is at 1823. And what can happen if 1823 breaks? It can easily take the gold price, and I hope we've got time. Sorry, guys, we're a little bit out of time. I see we're running short here. Um, it can go to 1,600. On the other hand, if it breaks up, it needs to break, and it can then take us to 176. But for me, the big thing here is this line, that resistance line, needs to turn into a support, and that is 1,974. A few weeks back, the gold price tested 2,000, and it could not stay above that. It's negative for me. What's negative for me, there was the eye, there's a lower eye, and although I believe that there is a place for gold in a portfolio, just be nervous, this chart doesn't look 100% healthy to me. Well guys, thank you for watching the show, and um, visit our website www.fransdeclare.com, and by the way, remember, the Aussie guys that trades the Aussie, we service them daily so that they know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, we'll chat again.